Jogi, now I'm still working on this little VF700 Magnum, but uh, got the coils in yesterday. She starts up good, she runs good. But uh, one thing that a lot of people don't understand is yeah, you can get a backrest for the center of a gold wing where you've got a seat a mile long, but for these little cruiser bikes, you generally ain't gonna get one unless you make your own. You know, or, well, okay, there's a few out there for hardly fucking Abelsons, but nobody wants one of them goddamn things you always having to work on them. Anyway, what I've done here is I've taken an old backrest, I cut off the luggage rack, and just one bolt on each side. Just catch the shock tower bolt just like you would if you was putting on a luggage rack. And uh, there you go. You got yourself a backrest on a cruiser for when you're solo. And it's just got a crossbar. I rigged that to where it's the cross, first crossbar from the luggage rack just lays right across the bitch pad. Nice and easy. It's still good and solid. I mean, you can you lean back on it. It's got a little give, but not a whole lot. That bitch pad ain't very thick anyway. And, you know, I mean, if it bothers someone, the looks, I mean, there's one, two, three, four Allen screws you can pull the factory um, backrest off the bitch pad. And me personally, I think this bike would look a whole lot better without it, but you got that fucking cluster mess of Honda wiring in there. I'm going to mount these lights in a little while. Dennis just went to get me a... Um, um, drill press vise. I'm going to have to make two tabs to drop down to mount those. Otherwise they're going to be at the wrong height in California. You're going to bitch at it. So we're going to get them at the right height and everything like that. But uh, and the back, everything's nice. I still got to re-wax everything. And Marie's been doing a good job on waxing stuff up. Looks like I got a little spot there I gotta wipe off because my clumsy ass must have rubbed up against that. Shit gets dusty just being here in the driveway. Now the graphics are on this. And I've got the other side covers and the engine chrome in the honor, but lady did these yesterday. She did a really, really good job. These are the covers for up front. And they're not just covers. They're actual little induction scoops. Because that is the front of your air box. And that puts more air in there. So you got, with them nice rich jets, you're burning a little bit less fuel at highway speeds. It doesn't do you much good around town, but and the side covers for her are done. They look really damn good. I'm just not putting them on yet because I still got a bunch of other shit I got to do on this bike yet. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. There's you how to make a backrest on a budget. Actually, it's not a budget, that was probably a $1,500 rack in its day. This just ain't its day because it's been cut up and it's being used for a fucking backrest. And that way, you know, when you're riding by yourself, which is most of the damn time, you're going down the highway, you got a nice little backrest to fucking lay your back on. And that's a good thing, especially if you're an old fucker like me. But uh, all the bright work's still got to be repolished because it got a little bit nasty. And, of course, it's got the traditional flaming skulls. It's got the blue dot in the taillight, too. Anyway, holler chow fuckers and fuckettes later. I just figured I'd show you how a redneck puts on a damn backrest. <laughs>